Mackie Freeze made high school coaching history in Louisiana without a lot of fanfare, but he made the most of starting a football program with a budget of a scant $300 at what is now well known as Richwood High School in Monroe. He got football pants donated from Neville High and shoulder pads from West Monroe High. He stretched the budget enough to build not just a program, but a Northeast Louisiana power. It's just good to reminisce and think about how things were back then. And then you think about, man, we did so much with so little. And I mean, it was just, it was just outstanding and just, but he's a great guy though. Great motivator, a guy that care about his kids. And you know, that's, that's what it was all about. Man, when you see coach, you know, he was like a father to all of us. And when you see him, it's instant respect. And he called all of us, whether we played basketball, football, whatever we did, he called all of us his boys. That's one of my boys. That's one of my boys. And he, he's just loved by all of us. Uh, and you know, he's just a great human being. Uh, no doubt about his ability to relate to young men. Freeze was already somewhat of a state legend by the time he graduated from Grambling State University. He was a standout pitcher for the Tigers, helping them win 120 games over three college seasons, including their first ever National NAIA Championship under R.W.E. Prez Jones. Freeze never lost a game on the mound at Grambling and in 2010 was named to the Grambling Legends Hall of Fame. The Dodgers would sign him to a pro contract, but Freeze had a dream of working with young people and Richwood was calling. For 13 seasons, he guided scores of youth to college scholarships and pro contracts, including Goldie Sellers and Tank Smith, who played for Super Bowl championship teams. When you left here and you went to college, you were ready. And he read it. and some of the things that, you know, the concept that he had, and I tried to incorporate it. And most importantly, I tried to incorporate that, that concern about young men. It's not that, you, you know, you, you, you're an athlete, but you're not just an athlete to me. And I wasn't an athlete. He concerned about, it. he wanted you to get an education, wants you to become a productive citizen. And so that's what you try to do. And I think that it, you see a kid that you concern more about it than just athletic prizes. And then you, you get kids to do something for you. They'll, they'll work with you. Freeze won a remarkable 116 of 139 games in his coaching career, including at one point a staggering 56 straight contests. State championships came in 1961, 62, 63, and 64. For many of the students, he wasn't just a coach. He was a father figure. When you see him, you get fired up. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Because he's 90 plus years old, and you know, whatever it is he's taking, I want some of it. And he always encouraged you to do the best. And he's one of the most positive people you've ever seen in your life.